ग्रीटिंग स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज मयूर बाले आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सिविल डिपार्टमेंट डब्ल्यू आई सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द टॉपिक दैट इज डकवीड पॉइंट्स सो व्हाट इज द लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डकवीड पॉइंट्स बेसिकली डकवीड पॉइंट्स आर द सिस्टम इन विच लॉट ऑफ डकवीड इज प्रेजेंट इन दैट लेक ओके so duckweed is a tiny floating plant if you see if you can see in the picture they are the small plants which are continuously floating on the pond it usually grows on the surface of ponds or lakes in a or in a slow moving streams duckweed can easily multiply very much rapidly and form the lush carpet on the top of the water duckweed is a favorite food for ducks which is how it got its name that is duckweed fish and snails eat duckweed too so healthy duckweed is having a bright yellow green color it is an unusual plant because it has no leaves or stems instead it is having the leaf like fronds that are attached at the center from each front the the single root hangs down if you can see on the diagram in the overhead view that is the plan you will get to understand the plants are having kind of a front like leaves if the production goes on if the increase of duckweed starts to happen small bud fronts is also going to be coming out from the fronts if you look at the side view you will get to understand every leaf or every front is having a separate root that is continuously inside the water duckweed buds to form a new fronds each frond grows its own root and it becomes independent plant there are various types of duckweeds which are present in the pond they are typically small fragile and free floating aquatic plants there are total four types of genera first one is spadodella second one is lamna which is mostly used for the treatment of waste water third one is wolfia and the fourth one is wolfiella so basically lamnaceae family that is a part of a lamna is a worldwide but most diverse species appear in the subtropical or tropical areas temperature condition for which the duckweed grow is always between 6 to 33 degrees celsius water having the ph in which the duckweed survives should be in between 5 to 9 but it can easily grow at a faster rate when the ph is having the temperature range of 6.5 to 7.5 so how the duckweed ponds usually used for the treatment of waste water if you can see this is the duckweed pond or this is a cylindrical shaped duckweed pond in which the upper layer is continuously in aerobic why it, i am saying it is in aerobic because it is continuously exposed to atmosphere and also sunlight by which large amount of oxygen can come inside that pond so we can say the upper 10 cm thick layer of the pond is always in the aerobic in that what is going to happen when the waste water is coming inside that treatment unit or in that cylindrical pond easily whatever the duckweed ponds which have been grown on the upper layer of the pond they will easily take whatever the carbon dioxide which is present in the atmosphere and they will throw out large amount of oxygen inside that uh, pond so it automatically large amount of surface aeration and carbon dioxide is also made to push inside the pond the carbon dioxide is converted by the duckweed mat which is the mat of continuous duckweed plants and the oxygen is made to come in in this way large amount of oxygen is made to pass inside the treatment unit using that treatment unit large amount of bacteria which are present in that pond or in that waste water will start to grow and automatically bacteria are exposed to lot of oxygen 
and the uh, lot of organic matter is present in the waste water so easily they will degrade the organic matter and easily the decomposition of organic matter take place in that large amount of uh, chances of formation of algae is also can be there because algae needs lot of carbon dioxide they need lot of uh, oxygen and they need lot of sunlight so automatically on the upper layer of the uh, duckweed pond there are chances algae can easily form when the algae is also going to useful for the decomposition of organic matter they are also going to throw out the dead cells or suspended solids that is what we need in typical uh, biological treatment units what we say the dead cells are basically sludge but the duckweed ponds the dead cells are also kind of a sludge only so this upper layer is always acting as a aerobic now at the bottom of the aerobic zone you will get to understand very less amount of oxygen will be there so whatever the organic nitrogen which is present in the waste water is made to eaten up by the bacteria as they are getting a lot of uh, content of bacterial culture which has been formed out in the aerobic zone these type of a bacteria will eat out the organic nitrogen and they will throw out the ammonium and phosphate contents these ammonium or phosphate contents can be converted into the nitrates or nitrates and they will go out or that that can be also be taken up by duckweed ponds similarly the phosphates can also be eaten up by the aerobic bacteria and automatically the dead cells can be formed so in this fashion the nitrates and phosphates can go above the anaerobic zone if that ammonium or phosphate is still remaining in the anaerobic zone they will be converted by the nitrates with the help of oxygens which is given out by the duckweed ponds or it is coming through the aerobic zone so automatically that nitrates again they will convert to the nitrates using the same oxygen and that nitrates will be converted into the nitrogen gas and that nitrogen gas which is having a very much lesser density will be go out in this fashion the anaerobic zone is typically used to treat the organic nitrogen and the phosphates the next one is anaerobic zone if you can see the at the bottom this is the anaerobic zone in which whatever the organic waste which is still remaining in the waste water that will be converted into the organic acids and that organic acids will be eaten up by anaerobic bacteria with the help of uh, bacterial formation then acidogenesis then acetogenesis and then methanogenesis so in this fashion the organic acids will be converted into carbon dioxide it will be converted into the ammonia it will be converted into the sulfide gas and large amount of methane as these kind of gases are very much lesser in density they will be again exposed and taken out from the duckweed pond so in this fashion all type of a treatment will be done in the duckweed ponds so in the duckweed ponds what is going to happen uh, with respect to various types of pollutant removals mostly phosphorus removal the plant uptake and sedimentation are quantitatively relevant for phosphorus removal in duckweed systems talking about the organic matter and bod removal bod is aerobically digested by microorganisms attached to duckweed fronds anaerobic processes are responsible for bod removal in the sediment that is at the downside how the nitrogen removal is going to happen besides the plant uptake denitrification and volatilization of ammonia are quantitatively relevant processes uh, for nitrogen removal in the duckweed system tss are majorly extend removed by the sedimentation a minor fraction is adsorbed on the roots of the fronds where the microorganisms degrade apart and a part of the degraded product is made to assimilated at the bottom of the plants how the pathogens can be removed basically pathogen removal takes place through natural die off it means uh, whatever the patch pathogens or whatever the harmful bacteria which are present in the duckweed 
they are exposed and they are made open and they can directly uh, die themselves naturally therefore long detention time is necessary for the uh, duckweed ponds how toxins can be removed basically toxins are the lipophilic that is hydrophilic uh, get uh, greatly accumulated in the lipids of the cell membrane from where the they are exerted to the inner side of the uh, laminense cell so let us see the advantages typically uh, traditional rudimentary and it is easy to implement and it is very much ideal for the rural areas duckweed ponds are also easy to build see it is very much simple to operate and it require very much little or no maintenance it also requires relatively smaller land areas it also reduces the nutrition contamination of natural systems heavy materials can also be absorbed by the plants and they are not returned back to the water which is very much good part duckweed based ponds are basically produces a plant biomass that can be used as a fertilizer also even alumin filled uh, supplement can be also one of the advantage of duckweed plants and that can also be the source of methane duckweed also produces more protein per square meter than soya beans uh, duckweed is easier to harvest than algae or other aquatic plants so let us have few review questions duckweed is a dash plant it is whether it is floating or submerged or both a and b or none of the above in duckweed ponds pathogens can be removed if long detention time is provided whether this statement is true or false following nutrients can be removed by duckweed ponds phosphorus bod toxic materials or all of the above so let us see their answers duckweed is always a floating plant in a duckweed ponds pathogens are always be removed if long detention time is given a uh, lot of nutrients can be removed in the duckweed ponds which we had seen earlier in which phosphorus is there bod is there and toxic materials are also there these are the references i have used to make this video thank you